Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna guide new players, new level 60 players into getting into storm blood crafting step by step. So the first step is to get to level 61 to HQ the 61 set, the left side gear. And I ha just have the normal level 60 gear, the chimerical felt and serpent skin pieces. You can craft these easily as soon as you get to 60. So I have, uh, let's go through the gear first, what I have. I have the 150 main tool. I have capped CP on everything. So when I say how much CP I cap, I melded, that's the cap. You, ca I can't, you can't put any more than what I have put right now. So I have uh, 4 CP on main hand, 6 CP on headpiece. 4 CP on chest, 6 CP on hands, belt 6 CP, pants 6 CP, boots 6 CP, the rings 3 CP each, bracelet 7 CP, 7 CP on necklace as well, and 8 CP on earring, and offhand is 4 CP as well. And uh, right now I am using seafood stew as a food, you can also use the food that you can buy in Kugane, uh, Culinarian Girl sells really really good crafting food. Use the one that gives 47 CP or how much ever it gave, I think it was 47 yeah. Or you can use that, it costs 2k gil so if you don't have access to seafood stew that works as good. So that's what we have for gear and these are my additional abilities. So the idea here is to get to level 61 so the 61 recipes become much much easier so that we can craft the 61 crafter left side it's gonna be a huge upgrade over what we have right now i use this gear as i mean you could even start with nq version of this gear it's still gonna work as long as you cap the cp on each piece you should be fine a lot of people are coming back to the game and they have no idea where what to start with what what to do as a level 60 so this is this video is just to basically a, a little guidance for that so what i'm going to do to level get to level 61 is uh, first of all the grand company daily for weaver today it is chimerical felt hose of scouting so do that Try to HQ it as well and hand it in. That's a lot of XP. And uh, and then collectibles. If you come to Idleshire, you can hand in collectibles. You don't even need to get into storm blood areas just yet. You can just start in uh, in Idleshire. And uh, well, it's preferable to get into storm blood areas so that you can gather these blood hemp's with your botanist. Or get the materials for Gagana le leathers, which you're gonna need to do the these collectibles. And miner to get Girabanian alumen. Gagana skin you can also get from your battle retainer, or you can... That's the best way, actually. If you have a level 61 battle retainer, you can get these. Or level 62, I don't remember which one. It's gonna be 61 or 62 then. If you can't afford it on the market board, then you can get it yourself easily if you have the means to do it. So that's for getting mats. And so I am gonna craft uh, the pants, which is my collectible for today. Blood, hemp, and skirt. If I get how much collectability do I? If I get 580 collectability I will get 200k XP and a lot of red scripts the red scripts you can also use to get grade 5 crafting material which is gonna be really nice later on actually you do that now in, uh, in here yeah red crafter script exchange yeah here's the materials 400 red scripts for grade 5 materials which you're gonna need at level 70 so it's a long-term goal to farm up material along the, your journey to level 70 
So what I'm gonna do is just get mats ready for these and do them and hand them in to level up to 61. And when we get to 61, I will show you the rotation. Well, I will show you the rotation now for the collectible. Uh, let's put collectible gloves on and let's get the mats and let me show you the rotation for this. Okay, I am back with mats and let me show you guys the rotation for these collectibles for us to get to level 61. And also don't forget your Grand Company dailies. Well, another thing I forgot to mention for XP, you can just also just craft these manually. And when you craft them, make sure to have these commercial engineering manuals on. If you use these, you get a lot of bonus XP when crafting, so you, ca you can also use that. If you can't afford to do the these collectibles, then that's also another way until 61. Besides, you need these two mats anyway for the 61 crafts that we're gonna do. So that's a good option as well to get to 61 if you don't prefer this that I'm about to show you. Alright, so let's do the pan. We start with muscle memory. Don't forget collectible synthesis because we are doing collectibles. We are way aiming for 500. How much was it? 580 collectability. That's what we are aiming for right now. Okay, and do comfort zone. If you get good condition, you do tricks of the trade. With this gear, that will allow us one extra basic or precise touch. And then do inner quiet. And then do Ingenuity 2, Steady Hand 2, if you did Ingenuity 2, do, if you get a good don't hit tricks of the trade, because we can't afford to lose Ingenuity 2 stacks, because we need Rapid Synthesis, at least two of them, to hit under Ingenuity 2, and we got them, go for a third one, if we did it then we will, then we are one careful Synthesis 2 away. From finishing the crowd. Then we can just focus on quality. Spend the last hasty, uh, the last steady hand to stack with a hasty touch. Okay, we get an excellent. If you did get an excellent at this stage and you had the tricks of the trade earlier, even if you don't have steady hand two, I would still uh, gamble with precise touch because excellent is too good to miss. And that gambling paid off. If it's excellent, it's worth it. If it's not excellent, don't try it. Just do Master's Men 2. And then uh, refresh Comfort Zone. Then Steady Hand 2. Waste Not 2. Work towards quality. Hasty Touches. Refresh, steady hand 2, more hasty touches. We have enough CP for another precise touch, which I should have hit, but it's fine. There we go, we got a precise touch, hit it. Alright, when 515 durability left, you do the finisher, steady hand 2. Or steady hand 1 works as well. Great strides, by the God's blessing. And uh, careful synthesis too. We got... How much collectability did we get? 540. Uh, that's... How much XP? That's 196k XP. Which is good. And you get the red scripts. Let's spend... Let's sh me show you the other way. The easier way to level up to 61. You buy this commercial engineering manuals. Grab a couple. Use one of them. You just use the manual. And you just spam the level 61 blood hemp and yarn. Or blood hemp and cloth. You just spam and queuing it. Don't quick thin synth because you're gonna lose mats. Just ingenuity 2. 3 careful synthesis 2. Masters meant one, then just finish the craft. Just repeat this until you are 61. 
50k XP just for that, like that. If you have botanist, you can get your own mat, so you don't need to spend gil on it. Okay, so our only goal is to get to 61. Uh, also, I'm gonna show you how powerful is the Grand Company hand in as well. So don't forget to do that. I'm gonna sh show you that as well. So just do these crafts until 61. And now let me show you the Grand Company. Okay, here we are at the Grand Company. So for Weaver, we needed to hand in a Chimerical Felt House of Scout. As you can see, three of my handies have a star on it. This star means you get double rewards, double XP. And if you HQ it, further double that. That's four times the normal XP if it's star then you hand in HQ. So it's really important to when you have a star to consider handing in HQ at least for the start ones for extra huge amount of XP. So I'm gonna do now this one for Weaver. Do it for your all your classes. I'm just gonna show you the one for Weaver to keep the video shorter. And I'm just gonna... It's a level 59 recipe, so even with this gear, it shouldn't be a problem. Muscle memory. Comfort zone. Inner quiet. Uh, then do steady hand too. Then uh, hasty touches. Until 10 durability. And then do Master's Man 2. And then uh, Steady Hand 2. Do one more touch. And then to spend the last Comfort Zone stack, then Refresh Comfort Zone. Then do Waste Not 2. If you get an excellent. Do a precise touch. You can afford to have a precise touch. Okay. Boom. Then work on quality. Uh, okay, now we need to work on progress. So do some careful synthesis too. Until one... Well, three of them. And you will be one away from finishing the craft. Which is what we want. Refresh steady hand too. Okay, we can afford to do two more hasty touch and one basic touch. And then great strides by the God's blessing. Quite easy. Actually, we had spare CPU, you could have done basic touch. Anyway, this is a level 59 recipe, so it is easy. And for that, how much XP do we get? Let's hand it in. Just like that, 1.8 million XP, just like that. So it is really, really important to do your Grand Company dailies, especially the starred ones, so be sure to do those. And uh, so basically I'm just gonna repeat the same process of all classes until I get 60 to 61. And uh, the next part of the guide I'm gonna show you... Crafting the 61 set as level 61 with the same gear that I have in this part So Please look forward to that. I will see you then. Thank you guys so much for watching If you found this helpful be sure to like favorite and subscribe and share the video that helps me a lot And if you want to support the channel, I have a patreon page up as well. It's totally optional though just mentioning it so People know it's out there. Nothing required, just the optional. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the next part. Take care.